Need to help families in need this Thanksgiving was stolen from a local food pantry. However, the community is stepping up to make sure that no one goes hungry. Pam Serrano is live tonight to explain. Pam. Susan, at Thanksgiving, the Grove City Community Food Bank packs hundreds of dinners to those in need, and it also serves dinners for seniors and local high rises. They've done this for three decades, but this Thanksgiving, those dinners almost didn't happen. That money was people's hard earned money that they put into that jar. Behind the register is where we keep, where I kept the turkey fund on the floor. And when I came in, that was gone. The Grove City Food Pantry prides itself on being a joyful place of blessings. But this year, someone helped themselves, robbing the food pantry of the Thanksgiving dinner fund. I had some real negative thoughts running through my mind of the type of person that would do this. I will say now, after some time, um, the person was thought that this was their only option. And... Um, we just pray for those people. According to the pantry, the thief came in through Thrifty Threads, a donation-driven store that helps fund the food pantry. This is our thrift store, Thrifty Threads. The thieves also stole money from the store cash register, a big blow to the community-driven pantry serving over 550 needy families who rely on their good works. People who are homeless, people uh, who need emergency orders, um, we deliver senior citizens groceries uh, they also come down and they pick food up but the pantry has received more in blessings than what was taken once word spread the community support was overwhelming the money was recouped um, by the good community here almost immediately um, and we have received tenfolds Well, the pantry says they don't condone who took the money and why they took it, but they hope that the money blesses whoever did. But they say if the person had just simply asked, they would have given them whatever they needed. Police have dusted for prints, but so far, no leads. Reporting live tonight, Pam Serrano, KDKA News.